By clicking on the website link that was sent by our A1 team, you will be able to access this page. Once you are here, fill in the email address and password that was provided and click on Submit. This will direct you to the dashboard. Once you have logged in, you will be able to access this dashboard. For you to create a new meeting, click on the New Meeting button and you will be able to choose from 5 different meeting modes. The first meeting mode is the Classroom mode. This is where all participants can interact on video call with the host. Next is the Lecture Plus mode. This is where guests can video call with the host but they cannot see or hear other guests. The third meeting mode is the Lecture mode. This is where the host can share their video and audio while guests who would like to speak will need to ask for permission from the host. Besides that, we also have the live stream mode where hosts can share their video and audio or you can also select the whiteboard mode where it enables all participants to communicate via chat message. Once you have selected your preferable meeting mode, click on start meeting. Next, you can copy this invitation link and send this to your students. Finally, click on the Go To Meeting button. Input your display name and click Start Meeting. Once you have entered into the room, you will be able to choose the thickness of the pencil and its color. From there, you are able to write on the screen while your other students are able to see and you can also highlight the words. To erase, you can use the eraser icon here which allows you to erase all of your mistakes. You can also include shapes and lines such as rectangles and triangles. If you would like to type in a text, Click on the A icon and this will allow you to type in any words or sentences. Next, you can also upload images or any PDF documents such as your worksheets which you can then display on the screen and solve the questions together with your students. One of the biggest challenge when it comes to conducting online class is the lack of space to write at. From here, we can actually zoom out the screen or we can also have multiple whiteboards where we can do different questions on different whiteboards. From there, we can also download all of the whiteboards and we can send these to our students after class. Besides the interactive whiteboard, if you like to interact with your students, you can always increase the size of the video to 2x or 3x or even make it into a full screen. Besides that, you can also chat with your students, share worksheets or files with them or even conduct an online quiz with them. Lastly, by downloading the mobile app and scanning this QR code, it will automatically transform your phone into a tracking pad. This is where you can use your phone or tablet as a tracking pad.